Yeah, you know, I saw the Thunder Wolves back in, I think it was uh, the 2021-2022 season where they were one of the worst teams in the OUA, but then obviously had a great bounce back year mm -hmm. last year. Over 3,000 fans at uh, Fort William Gardens for their playoff run. That was really, really exciting. But uh, yeah, the Lake Cat Thunder Wolves hockey team, they just fell just short last year. They lost to the Windsor Mustangs in the OUA West final. And then the Concordia Stingers in the bronze medal game which meant the T-Wolves were just one win shy of a chance to compete for a University Cup. However, as the Wolves prepare for their season opening games this weekend at Brock, they have nothing less than a Queen's Cup championship on their minds. Joe Sadowski has the story. It's been a long summer for the Lakehead Thunderwolves hockey team. After an outstanding 18-6 season and getting past the University of Toronto, a painful loss in the OUA West Finals to the Windsor Lancers earlier this spring left a painful sting to say the least. Heading into this season, the Thunderwolves aren't going to forget the feeling from last season's loss. Can't speak for everybody, but I know for myself, I, I hate to lose. So, um, try not to think about it too much because it still hurts to think about it. I mean, obviously we've had a summer to kind of train for it, but I think it, it fed for our workouts there. It, uh, it definitely fueled it a bit for the guys that were in town I was with over the summer. We were working out for it and uh, yeah, no, we're excited to get started again and get that loss off our record. This season, the Thunderwolves lost a few seniors from last year. Defenseman Kyle Auger and Jeff Dempster and former assistant captain Greg Smith all graduated. Despite those key losses, the Thunderwolves made a big acquisition in the offseason. Former OHLer for the Sudbury Wolves and Thunder Bay native Nick DeGrazia, who's fulfilling a lifelong dream of playing for the Thunderwolves. Honestly, when I was younger, I wanted to play for the Thunderwolves, and I don't know, now it's finally happening, I guess. It's honestly kind of a dream come true. I'm excited to get in front of all the fans and, yeah, just get things going. As a group, I think we got a good team here, and I, I don't know, I think hopefully we can go all the way. I think that's kind of the mindset of everyone in that locker room. Just uh, I think a championship would be is the main goal here. DeGrazia grew up playing hockey in Thunder Bay for the Midget Kings, and the coaching staff thinks he can add an extra element of offense to a Lakehead team that was third in the league in goals per game and second in total goals last season. He's a guy that I had experience with back in the, in the Midget Kings days and, um, you know, obviously coming off some successful years in Sudbury. He's a dynamic player, uh, creates offensively. Uh, he's fast, he's quick, he can shoot. Um, you know, we're excited to see what he can do and, and I think he's going to add, a, you know, another element to our forward group. The Thunderwolves start their season on the road against Brock before returning to Fort William Gardens for their home opener against Waterloo. Joe Sadowski, TBT Sports.